Exactly. We're rolling. Okay, take one. We're this is a sealed pail of uh, C14 plus. We're going to test the reed vapor pressure. Let's just see how fresh it is. There we go. This has got an RVP rating of 5.5 psi. This is a Kohler RVP test machine. It's up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The test bomb is preheated to 100 degrees. That preheats the air in the, in the, in the upper chamber. And this is the, uh, the sample container. It's chilled. It's been in Refrigerator. The reason that's got to be chilled is so we we don't lose any of the fuel's front ends when we're before we test it. I hate to be spilling this twenty dollar gallon. Okay. What we're finding is often the uh, Fuel coming out of these sealed pails is stale before we even open it up. Because what we don't know is how this fuel was stored before it was transpilled into these small containers. Test bomb out of 100 degree water. It's hung up there. Chilling fuel sample goes right in there. So there's air up here. Fuel's down there. First thing we do is we we'll agitate the fuel. And it runs into the preheated chamber and it'll begin the vaporization process. Now this will take a few minutes, but we'll just uh, hopefully this will come up to uh, five psi or even if it's four psi. That's pretty decent. Right now it's a little before 10. We'll probably give this, I'll you know, say, five minutes and it'll come up to temperature. The water's circulating. It's 100.0 degrees Fahrenheit and it's circulating so put the, the heat in the fuel as quickly as possible. I don't think we're going to get close to 5.5 rules today. But if it turns out that this is uh, stale, like it often is in a pail, 
I've got uh, isopentane that will mix in with this. The isopentane's got an RVP of uh, 22 psi, so it doesn't take much to put in uh, stale race gas to bring it up to what we need to make maximum power with a two-stroke race engine. Looking pretty grim. Alright, just a little bit over one PSI. I'm going to estimate that we'll wind up close to two PSI with this, which is and I've, I've done hundreds of tests like this and I know how long it takes typically. But we would expect this this time of year they might uh, blend it a little on the low side in the summertime. We might expect if this was truly fresh, if, if it was 4 psi, that would be pretty normal. I think we're not, we're not going to get anywhere near, near that today. What happens is uh, I don't believe I know Sunoco does, and I don't, I don't think BP themselves fill the five gallon pails. They just sell bulk to people and, and they depend on the wholesalers to store it properly, uh, treat it with respect, and uh, make sure that fresh fuel gets put in these five gallon pails before they're sealed. So we always think that sealed pail is uh, a great thing. But Today we're going to be a little disappointed with this. And again, I'm, part of the RVP test is to agitate it. And I, I shake it up as much as I can to heat and get the front ends of the fuel to uh, evaporate and create the pressure in the test bomb. Uh, and if this was really good fuel by now we'd, we'd be over, well over 3 psi and heading, heading towards 4. I think we're going to be on the low side today. So this is a $100 pail of fuel and it's not as good as it should be. Well, today we'll, we'll blend in some uh, isopentane with it because this is for a 800cc grass drag sled. What we, what we really like to do is to be able to run these motors with ice water in them as cold as possible and in order to do that you've got to have really fresh high RVP fuel. And we don't have that today. Now with, with one little over one PSI, I, I can dyno test this motor, dyno tune it, but we have to get the motor real hot, water temperature up there real good and be very cautious as we approach what's you know, the 13 to 1 air fuel ratio that we typically like to shoot for to get maximum power. But with stale fuel, we have to be on the rich side of that just to play it safe. And I think we're. I think we're max. I'm, I'm going to say we are going to be done. one and a half PSI today. That's all it is. So you guys got to see this seal popped off that a brand, brand new uh, jug of fuel. It says factory sealed for your protection. And so obviously it, it was stale when it was put in there and, and sealed. We're done. And yeah, one and a half, so marginally okay, but I think we'll add a little isopentane to that before we mix oil in. But this is what you guys are up against when, when you buy the fuel. So everybody should build their own home vapor pressure test um, machine out of a 
monster energy drink can. And I've got uh, instructions on my website and on my blog. It's a free blog area in Dynotech Research explaining how you do that and how you test it. But everybody needs to test it, whatever fuel they buy. I mean, not everybody's got a, a $6,000 official RVP tester, but you can do a good job of testing it at home with using hot water in the sink. And then you can buy isopentane yourself to bring it up to whatever RVP you, you desire. But today we'll, we're, we're glad we tested it because this, this could have uh, been an unhappy deal. And, and we, we can test with, with a tune with one and a half PSI, but you know, when you're paying for 5.5 PSI, you ought to get close to that. You, everybody needs to test their own fuel and keep it under nitrogen pressure or refrigerate it after it's been opened to prevent the loss of the, the front ends, which all the motors need. So nitrogen pressure, those uh, drumpreserve.com pressure units that, that uh, we've been selling are great things. But if you start out with, with uh, dead fuel, nitrogen is not going to do you much good. So buy yourself fresh um, race gas from a, a, of a good source and again I don't, I don't know who, who filled this but it, it didn't do a very good job. So yeah we're still at 1.5 psi and we're, we're done so we'll juice this up with a little isopentane and we'll, and we'll be in good shape but uh, everybody's got to look out for yourself when it comes to buying using this uh, these sealed pails of fuel. Well, that's enough for today. Let's get the dino fired up.